Alright, I thought I would just throw together a video. Um, I was cruising through YouTube the other day and watching videos and I came across um, one from Cutlery Lover, um, who's one of the channels I watch quite a bit, and he was removing the scales off of a Swiss Army knife. And it's, some, it's a project that I've needed to do for quite a while, and I knew that it was probably possible because I've seen guys that do the wooden scales and the other kind of projects, and uh, I'd actually set myself up to do a couple of those projects. But after watching his video, I saw really how easy it was uh, to remove the scales. I'm not going to try to copy his video, but I am going to mention that um, he talked about you go to your larger size um, Swiss Army knives, you remove the tweezers, use a small screwdriver like this, and sure enough, it's very easy to pop up the scale. And it's quite possible uh, to get it out of there. Um, without damaging either the scale or the knife and uh, this one is a used knife but it's fairly clean anyhow as I was watching this video I went to go do it with one of my smaller ones and I don't know if it's gonna show up here or not but um, it didn't have the best success what happened is it sorta of got dinked up right on the edge there and uh, I don't know if you realize but the difference is that on these there's a uh, rivet on both sides so by lifting up in the center I sort of tore the plastic so instead if you take the blade of a of a Swiss Army knife and slide it in there and pry up evenly it pops up just as easily it's just that it doesn't damage the plastic so I just wanted to make this quick video to show two things that one you use the blade for the smaller ones and you'll be better off and then two look at how filthy this one is inside um, I had bought these um, small Swiss Army knives off of eBay really cheap. In fact, I got most of these, in fact, probably all of these small ones for about a dollar a piece in bulk auctions from, uh, I guess they're coming from the metal detectors or whatever. When people are going onto the airplanes, they just leave their knives behind. So uh, buying them in bulk, I was able to get quite a few like this. Uh, for about a buck a piece. I got a couple of cool ones. I've got them arranged here by blue and green and red and then uh, this one's got a Mr. Peanut on it and it's um, either engraved with a silver paint or it's a metal in embossed. I can't tell. On the other side you get the Veteranox logo, the Victorinox logo. On this one it's lame. It just says something about Copic Financial Services and their phone number. So that one's kind of lame but it's just the back side that's stupid the front side is good. This one says Antec Corp. And again, I don't know if that's silver paint, but it seems like that's the same sort of embossed that the back side is. So that one's pretty much stuck being uh, whatever that is. This one is another dumb one that just says something about advertising specialties. And then this one, though, I thought had the best potential because it's just painted on here. It's some, what does it say, American Medical Response? American medical response so so I don't know what it is but I don't care about it I was thinking I could just use some sort of solvent my favorite solvent is this Tolu or Tulu Tolu I don't know how to say it but this stuff it's basically the stuff that's in model glue uh, I really like it and I've used it in the past to remove stuff like this off of plastics and um, with various success in this case, I was trying for a long time to get this one painted. That this just looks like it's painted on there, but that that solvent doesn't do anything to this. So I don't know what I can try. Maybe a stronger solvent, but it sounds like some of the guys just use sanding to sand off this paint. But anyhow, I got a few of these that are good. They're just nothing. I like these, but some of these that say stuff on them, you know, are less interesting unless you really want to collect a bunch of advertising slogans. So what I probably will do is sand some of these off, but now that I've seen the video on how to replace these, like this one says Yellowstone, that's kind of cool. This one, and then it has the Vetronox logo, but if I wanted to maybe get two Vetronox logos instead of DSC Communications and Paxil, well now I can have one dumb one that says Paxil on one side and DSC on the other, leave that in a outside pocket or something so if it gets lost I won't be too worried it only cost me a dollar and then I'll keep the two Vetronox logos on one so let's see if that's possible I'm gonna pull out the uh oh I better not go too far here and put these other 
tweezers back together in these knives that I've already taken apart before I lose everything. I'm sure they're the same knives, but I'd rather keep them together. So I'm going to try pulling off this scale. And I'm just going in here between the liner and the scale. Give it a little bit of a pry. It doesn't hurt the blade at all. And now it's off. And then I'll go to this other one that says Paxil. And I'll pull its toothpick off. And hopefully there's not a difference on these small ones. Pretty sure they're the same on both sides. Get it in there. Give it a little bit of a pry. And now it's off. Now I'll go to the, thumb, the tweezer side and I'll try to get this one off just as easy. It did. Now I wasn't thinking I didn't need to pull all these off. I'll put this one back on this side and it fit right back on it seems like. And then I'll put this Paxil one on the other side. So if that fits and it does I've created a really stupid one that says DSC communications on one side and Paxil on the other side. But it's a real Swiss Army knife with the actual tools. And now I can take this other one and I'll take these apart again and wipe them off because I don't know if you can tell but these things are filthy. There's all kinds of pocket lint and crap in there. So I'll put that one together and now I've got one that's got cool Vetronox logos in like dark green and lighter green so that's kind of a neat one now and that only costs me three bucks if I don't count these two now I like this Yellowstone one so I'll keep it as is so I basically got two here for three bucks and then one that I can give away or throw away or do whatever and then uh, in the blue ones I guess I'll just go through them I got this cool Mr. Peanut one with the Vetronox logo they all have Vetronox logos on one side this one's dumb. This one says Franklin Templeton. I don't know what that is. Antec. Advertising. And then advertising. So I'm going to probably have to sand some of these down or else deal with the fact that they say advertising stuff on them. This one uh, says Swiss Days or something. This one says West Group. And then this one here is a good one. Now I did notice that out of these little ones I got, uh, a couple of them were not actually executives. I think this is the executive. Oh no, I'm sorry, these are classics. This isn't a classic because there's a blade and a file, but there's no scissors. So I forget off the top of my head what this is, but this is actually a different type that's even narrower than a regular classic. So that's pretty neat. Um, otherwise, uh, this one here is just a cheap ripoff one, and I figured I'd take the scales off just to see if they're the same or what. I noticed right off that the tweezers and stuff are on the same side as the lariat loop. Huh, pretty darn close. I don't know if they're exact match, but we'll find out here. Wow, those are almost an exact match. They don't quite fit though, so they're not quite an exact match. And they might have something to do with this peg. There's four pe four holes on this one. I'll bet you this one will fit on here. Yeah, the Swiss Army one fits right on this generic one, but the generic one doesn't fit on the Swiss Army. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. The holes are these not lining up. It sort of fit. Not quite. There's also some glue on this cheap one, so you can tell that they don't machine there so nice that friction holds them in. And let's see if when I put this one back together, if it actually stays back together. No, it's just going to fall off for the rest of the time now. So it's not something you want to do on a cheap one. They're glued in and they're just going to fall right off. They depend on the glue to hold themselves in place where the Swiss Army ones are just refined enough to fit by friction. So just wanted to make that video to show people that these small ones use a knife blade instead of the lever. On the large ones though, definitely just stick the screwdriver in, get it started. It just slides down the channel that the tool would go into and you can see the sides. 